I think it's more just of a person who's an introvert. So I don't see why they suddenly decide to call themselves asexuals. It is sad. And I think it's like, if you start having a designation for that type of person, yeah, I think this is one of the steps for uh, suicides. They must want to be lonely then, because at the end of the day, if you don't get sexual with anyone, you're going to be on your own, aren't you? I'm Karina Wan, I'm 22 years old and I'm a student at Bangor University. My Fixers project is raising awareness and understanding of asexuality and telling like other asexuals they're not alone and they don't have to change. Asexuality seems to put it all into one category for me rather than having like, well, I'm slightly here with that and slightly there with that. So it makes it a lot easier to categorise myself and to think about it and try to explain myself. Some surveys said one in a hundred people regard themselves as asexual. What would be your message to your general public about asexuality? Well, it's really important that we all have a, a sexual identity that we're comfortable with and which matches our own inner experience. It's also important that wider society acknowledges people's sexual identity and doesn't put uh, pressure on them to be uh, something that they're not. Come on, you must have your eye on some of the lads. James, I heard earlier you two were getting off. The short film is on a story about a girl who's asexual and the friends around her seem to think they could change her to be a more sexual person and feel a sexual attraction. Hey Luce, check this out. Is that a bit more of your street? Fine, suit yourself. Got my own prize. It's a funny world, isn't it? Look at everyone. Why does everything have to revolve around sex? Asexuality, that's her orientation and she's happy with that. Eventually, she does meet a boy who's also asexual and having a nice chat in the end. It reflects my experience where I just watch friends keep this, like, browsing through photos of hot men and I was like, whoa, and I was like, sit there like the potatoes and going, yeah. <laughs> I just told my boyfriend anyway that I am asexual and I'm not sexually attracted to him. And he seems to kind of accept it. He's a bit confused. I chose him because of his personality. I think people can be happy, like, together without having sex because there's other stuff to do together. I would feel happy if more people understood asexuality and feel less inclined about changing asexuals to something they're not.